When someone breaks virtually every record doing whatever he or she does, that person is the GOAT, the greatest of all time. When it's a halter stallion, it's impressive. Impressive was bred by Perry Cotton of Pleasanton, California, and was by thoroughbred stallion Lucky Bar and out of Lightning Bar mare Glamour Bars. Fold April 15, 1969 in Oklahoma, the colt was first registered with AQHA as Triple Bars, in recognition of his tracing to thoroughbred stallion three bars three times. He was acquired by Blair and Nancy Folk, who raised horses at Springfield, Ohio. The Folks brought the colt home as a weanling and transferred the papers in January 1970. My father purchased the colt for $3,500 from Nick McNair of Pryor, Oklahoma, says Tim Folk. He was a fuzzball, but even as a fuzzy, winter-haired weanling, he had perfect sculpted conformation, more on the side of his dam, glamour bars. My parents and I kept saying the colt was so impressive and said we should register him with that unique and fitting name. Papers in hand, Impressive and the Folks hit the show circuit, striking gold everywhere they went. When the Colts stood champion yearling stallion at the Indiana State Fair in August 1970, Dean Landers and Jerry Wells bought him for $20,000, which at the time was a huge sum for a yearling American quarter horse. In October that same year, Fennel Brown paid $40,000 for him at the All-American Quarter Horse Congress in Ohio. By the time he was a two-year-old, word had gotten out at the Quarter Horse Congress as to what a great-looking colt he was, recalled Blair Folk, who died in 2006. So when he was pulled out to win the class, he received a standing ovation from the huge crowd, something I had never seen happen at a horse show. Impressive had horse people talking from coast to coast while standing 20 grand championships and earning 48 points in the show ring. Topping his career in the ring, Impressive was the AQHA World Champion Age Stallion at the first AQHA World Show in 1974 in Louisville, Kentucky. Impressive followed with unprecedented success at stud, earning even more accolades as a sire than he did on public display. At the height of his popularity, Impressive's stud fee was advertised as $15,000. Represented by offspring such as Conclusive, The Graduate, Tardy Impressive, Impressive Dandy, Zip to Impress, Noble Tradition, and noted halter and performance sire, Mr. Impressive. Impressive sired a total of 2,251 American quarter horses from 24 crops. Altogether, the sons and daughters of Impressive earned more than 19,000 halter points and more than 6,000 performance points and include 23 open world champions, two amateur world champions, and four youth world champions that won 38 world championships, and finally, 25 horses that won 28 reserve world championships. That horse might have been the best individual I ever saw, said the late Jerry Wells, who joins Impressive in the 2022 Hall of Fame class. This was a stallion legendary in his own time, nearly unbeatable in the show ring, with progeny and later descendants dominating the halter horse world for more than four decades. Impressive died at age 26 on March 20, 1995, the greatest of all time in the halter horse universe. The stallion lived a life and left a line that is, and is often said, quite impressive. We welcome Impressive, a stallion who truly lived up to his name, into the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame.